Parishioners at St. John the Evangelist Parish in Agawam recently participated in an evening of liturgical music and storytelling given by two well-known presenters. They emphasize the importance of the laity participating in the liturgy. Terry Hegarty was there for the stories and the music, although we don't know whether he sang along or not. Here's his report. It was an evening of singing, dancing, and clapping. Since I laid my burden on Jacob's ladder. St. John the Evangelist Parish in Agawam hosted a presentation of liturgical music and storytelling. Shout to the Highest Mountain, a celebration of our Catholic faith, was the title of the show presented by Val Lamar Jansen and Tom Kenzia. It was an evening where audience participation became mandatory. And while the hope was for more participants, the presenters didn't let that dampen their enthusiasm. We might be a small number, but our Lord said, wherever two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. The well-known duo presented both storytelling and the darkness rolled up on one side and the light stood shining on the other and song. When the darkness overwhelms me. Jeanette Denencourt knows a thing or two about liturgical music. She was a local church organist for 49 years. I've never seen anything like this. Mm -hmm. uh, the acting of the singer was just so wonderful. It, it, made, it, it made the gospel alive, mm -hmm. you know, and it, it makes you feel like it's good to be a Catholic. Tom, a well-known liturgical composer, and Val, a highly regarded singer and storyteller, say that their encouraging attendees to participate in the evening relates significantly to their Catholic faith. It just mirrors what we are supposed to do as Catholics for liturgy. We're supposed to participate fully, actively, and consciously. So that's kind of what we were asking people to do tonight. We're really asked very very strongly by the church to be about the business of doing the best we possibly can with the liturgy which is the gathering of the church and it is just so important that we take that seriously tom and val say that the liturgy of the word at mass is vital i think it's really important to take a story that we know as a worshiping body we're going to hear it again and again and again and to deepen it, to make it richer, to add more tapestry to it. And so that's what I feel I'm doing. Tom says that the songs that he composes and arranges for liturgy are designed to enrich the Mass. My thinking has really focused more on what the music is supposed to do with the parts of the Mass that it's meant to be attached to. Because so frequently, music ends up overwhelming the liturgy or underwhelming it and never, in many, rarely, sort of going along with it and allowing the ritual to be as powerful as it can be. The celebration was designed to not only entertain, but to get people actively involved, singing and moving for much of the evening. Jeanette says she loved getting involved. She had us dancing, dancing in the pews, and it was just wonderful, and it brings Jesus alive to us and it, it, was, it was just so moving that you just had to participate. Both Val and Tom believe that people shouldn't be shy about being actively involved at Mass. I think it, that people have bought the myth. They've bought the myth that says Catholics don't participate and they don't, you know, they're solemn. They're, our faith is a joyous faith. And a lot of times I always say, you know, we're really thrilled to be Catholic. We just need to tell our face and our body that we're thrilled. The church needs people who know what they're doing or going after getting people um, to, to, to go after it, to sing in church, to praise God the way the church is asking us to do. It's all we have. I mean, I'm a firm believer that it's got to happen. And in places where it is, the churches are thriving, yes. busting at the seams. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not magic. It's just doing what the church is asking us to do. Participants learned that active participation in worship is not only important, but it is also a lot of fun. Reporting for Real to Real, this is Terry Hegarty.
Looks like it was a very enjoyable evening for all involved and we look forward to a time when Tom and Val can visit our diocese again, hopefully soon.